all right welcome back everybody today's video i'm going to touch on a topic that i feel is very important and that's the fire method um you know there's a lot of them out there and the bushcraft community we all you know we got these ferrocenium rods and these mag strikers things like that and these are good to have but they give you spark also primitive skills are good to have but more often than not, if you're relying on primitive skills or you're relying on one of these strikers, more often than not, you're going to be, find yourself without fire. So, we'll take this out of the equation. Next step on the list, BIC lighters. BICs are great. They're good if you got a hundred of them on hand in an SHTF situation. The downside to a BIC is they, you can only burn them so long. If it's wet out and you're trying to get a fire, you need to have the skill to be able to construct your fire to a, to dry to where you can light this and get it to go. But ultimately, you can only burn this so long before you take a chance on damaging your lighter or maybe even yourself if this thing blows up because you got it too hot. You know, another thing that makes a big lighter good is if it does run out of fluid, you can pop this little coating or this top off right here and just take your striker because it has flint in there and just you can get spark. These are good, they burn hot, they last a while and Bic lighter has been around for a long time and that is exactly why. My personal favorite is a Zippo. The only downside to a Zippo is you have to refill them with fluid. The fluid goes in here, this is your fluid. The only good side about having to ha have something to refill your lighter with is if I have this with me, I can also use this if I can't get a fire, if I need that extra little push to get it going. But ultimately, I usually don't carry the fluid. I usually keep my Zippo full. To change the flint in a Zippo, you undo that screw right there, drop your new flint in, put the screw back in. To fill your Zippo, you, there's a little hole right there you fill it up until you see your top of your layers getting moist and then you stop. If you overfill this Zippo, what's going to happen is the fluid's going to leak out. It's going to come out on, and you've got this in your pants pocket. It's going to get on your skin and it's going to cause irritation to your skin. The plus sides to a Zippo. They are windproof. They are reliable. They don't burn quite as hot as a Bic, but they are flame and they will burn. I have seen people cook little cans of food over top of a Zippo. You can light a lot of fires with a Zippo. Um, a plus to a Zippo is you can light that and you can hold that down low or keep your hands out of the way and that will burn for a long time and you don't have to worry about it blowing up or something crazy like that on you. But like I said, there's a downside. You gotta have fluid. Not only do you have to have fluid, but you also have to have flints. Flints, are, are, they're both cheap. I mean, they're easily accessible, but you know that's a lot of gear you got to take with you but if you're in dire straits and you need a flame zippo is the way to go you can get these waterproof you can get these these are all windproof um and like i said they will start a lot of fires for you uh, a lot of people you know think you can just light a lot lighter under a stick and get it going real fast and you're good to go and that's not the case um, you know, if you've ever played around with fires, you know that that's not how it goes, but, you know, it's still yet, people try it. So, down to the final two, Bic and a Zippo. If you have one of each, you got it. And, uh, you need to work on them fire building skills. And I just felt like I needed to touch base on that and cover that little issue there. That, why I pack a Zippo and a Bic lighter and the mag striker on top of all those you should always have the skill set of primitive skills because if something happens and you lose all them you're still going to be able possibly to get that fire but that takes a lot of practice um, you know in modern days a lot of people don't have time to do all that practice or a lot of people just don't have the area or the places or something like that to do that there's always a reason or excuse for something but anyways if you got a Zippo with you, you're good to go. If you got a Beck with you, you're good to go. If you have the combination of them with you, you're good to go. Till the next one, that's it for this.